paano kunin ang n of an arithmetic sequence? Tara't pag-usapan natin yan dito. Manood, makinig, mag-enjoy at matuto. Hey everyone, welcome sa lahat natin for today. So ngayon, itutuloy natin ang usapan natin about arithmetic sequence. And this is now part number 4. Okay, for part number 4, pag-uusapan natin, what if ang tanong sa atin about arithmetic sequence ay pang ilang term ang number na to? Ganun, kung pang ilang term or yung n ang nawawala. So let's get started. For our first problem, An arithmetic sequence starts with 2 and have a common difference of 5. Which term is 92? So, dito sa question na to, which term is 92? Tinatanong dyan, pang ilang term kaya yung 92 doon sa sequence na tinutukoy dito sa first sentence natin? So, let's do this. So, ganun lang din naman. Formula is the same. Alright? So, ang process natin, formula given tapos solution. So, write the formula. Of course, dapat sa ulo nyo na to. A sub n is equal to A sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times D. And given, saan yan kukunin? Of course, dito sa problem na meron tayo. A sub 1. So, A sub 1, alam natin ito ang first term. Nabanggit ba sa problem? Arithmetic sequence starts with 2. So, kung nag-start sa 2, ito ang first term. So, ang A sub 1 natin ay 2. Next. Common difference, ayan, binanggit din. Common difference of 5. So, ito ang common difference. Now, si n, unknown pa. Kasi nga, tinatanong sa atin, pang ilang term yung 92? Ayan. So, kung ang n ay unknown, dito a sub n pa lang siya. Wala pang value yung n. Kasi nga, hindi pa natin alam kung pang ilang term yung 92. So, this is, a sub n natin ay 92 din. Ayan. Yung term na, hahanapan natin ng position. So, paano to is a solve? Using this formula, this will be our solution. Alright? Write the formula. Then, substitute. ba? Diba? So, substitute natin lahat ng mga values na meron na tayo. Except dun sa n. Kasi unknown pa yung n. So, a sub n is 92. So, ipalit doon ng 92. a sub 1 is 2. So, dapat later dito ay 2 na ang mangyayari dyan. Plus yung n as is, tapos yung minus 1, constant naman yan. Then yung d, naka times sa 5. So by doing that, ito yung lalabas. 92 is equal to 2 plus 2 minus 1 multiplied by 5. Again, double check. Double check natin kung tama ba ang pagkakasubstitute. Ang a sub n ay 92, correct. Ang d ay 5, so correct naman. And ang a sub 1 is 2, so correct. So tama to. Next, ang second doon. Ganito po. Itong 5 na nasa labas, i-distribute natin dito sa nasa loob ng parenthesis. Paano yung gagawin? Since the process here is multiplication, yung nasa labas, i-multiply natin sa loob isa-isa, term by term. So, 5 times n, tapos 5 times negative 1. Ang 5 times n, kapag multiply, the answer will be 5n. Tapos ang 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. So by doing that, by distributing this 5 sa loob, ang mangyayari ay ganito. 92 is equal to 2 plus 5n minus 5. Now, after distributing that, ang gagawin naman natin, pagsasamahin natin yung constant or yung mga like terms kung meron man. So in this case, yung 2 sa ka-negative 5 pwede yung pagsamahin. Now, ang ginagawa ng iba, uh, minsan, pinagdatabi nila lahat ng uh, like terms. Pwede yon, Pwede yung technique. Now, pwede namang ganto. I suggest, takpan nyo na lang yung nasa gitna. Ganyan. Ayan. So, pag tinakpan natin yan, malalaman natin ngayon kung paano ang operation na gagawin. So, this is 2 minus 5. So, alam na natin ngayon na, ah, is ito pala. Ima-minus natin sa 5. Ang 
Uh, ang magiging problem lang kasi nung pag-arrange sometimes is that kapag nire-rearrange natin yung terms, may mga times na yung sign ay hindi natin na isasama. Kunwari, nung nilipat ko si 5, naging plus na siya doon. So, crucial yon. So, much better. So, I suggest ganito ang gawin. Takpan nyo na lang yung term na hindi like term. So, in this case, so, kita na agad yan. Si 2, ima-minus pala sa 5. Ganyan. So, 2 minus 5 is negative 3. Ayan. Then, ganito na ang mangyayari. 92 is equal to negative 3 plus 5n. Ayan. Tapos, di ba ang goal natin kapag may nawawala, kailangan yung n dito matira sa isang side of the equation. And, meron pang negative 3, tapos may 5 pa siyang katabi. So, ang una mong gagawin, i-transpose mo na yung negative 3 sa kabila. And by doing that, kapag nag-transpose, magiging positive 3 siya sa kabila. And this will happen. 92 plus 3 is equal to 5n. Then, solve mo na natin yung pwede pang i-plus or i-minus. 92 plus 3 is 95 is equal to 5n. Kopya lang yon. And, di ba, to get the value of n, kapag may katabi siyang number, we're going to use the multiplication property of equality or just divide this by the number beside n. Kung ano yung katabi ni n, siya ang divisor natin. Ayan. So, since 5 ang katabi ni n, divide by 5. Para maging 1 na lang, maging 1n na lang ito. So, ayan. Tanggal si 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. So, this is n dito sa may right side. Plus 95 divided by 5 will have 19. So, the answer is 19 is equal to n. O kaya, same lang naman to. n is equal to 19. Ayan. So, ibig sabihin, ang 92, ano pong ibig sabihin ng 90 na yan? Itong 19. Ibig sabihin yan, ang 92 is 19th term ng given arithmetic sequence sa atin. Ayan. So, ganun pa ang pagsasolve kapag n ang nawawala or yung term position ang pinapahanap sa atin. Alright. So, let's have another example. The first three terms of an arithmetic sequence are 56, 53, 50. Which term is negative 19? Ayan. So, si negative 19, pinapahanap kung pang ilang term kaya siya. So, therefore, obviously here, we are looking for the term position or yung letter N. So, let's do the process. Formula, A sub N is equal to A sub 1 plus N minus 1 times D. Then, given, syempre, mahanap natin yun sa problem na meron tayo. A sub 1. So, A sub 1, since ang given na sequence ay, ay yung three terms, yung first three terms, of course, atong unahan siya ang A sub 1. Diba? Ang A sub 1 kasi is the first term. And we'll have, we have here 56 as our first term. So, 56 ang A sub 1. Common difference. Ang common difference here, hindi siya obvious, hindi siya binanggit kayo ng first problem natin. But here, uh, when we recall kung paano kumuha ng... ng Common difference, mina minus lang diba yung second term dun sa una, yung third dun sa pangalawa, and dapat yung difference ay constant. Common. So let's try doing that. 53 minus 56, that's negative 3. 50 minus 53, that is negative 3. So ito ang common difference natin. So common difference now is negative 3. Next, n. Ang n is term position, so siya ang pinapahanap. Ibig sabihin ng n ay question mark. Then a sub n, n pa rin ito kasi hindi pa natin alam kung pang ilang position yon is negative 19. Ayan. Ito yung hahanapin natin. Si negative 19, pang ilang position kaya siya. Ayan. So let's go to our solution. Write first the formula, then substitute, be careful. Kung anong mga ilalagay natin. A sub n dapat ay negative 19. Be careful sa sign. A sub 1 is 56. Then, common difference ay negative 3. So, times negative 3 doon dapat naka parenthesis. Ayan. So, by doing that, ito yun. Negative 19 is equal to 56 plus n minus 1 multiplied by negative 3. Double check nyo na lang kung tama yung pagkaka-substitute. Then, after that, Next step, i-distribute natin yung nasa labas, papunta doon sa loob ng parenthesis. So, negative 3 times n, that's negative 3n. Then, negative 3 times negative 1, that is positive 3. So, ganto ang mangyayari doon. 
negative 9 is equal to 56 minus 3n plus yung 3. Ayan. Then after that, again, pagsasamahin natin yung 56 sa kayong 3. Pwede mong i-rearrange, kaso baka be careful lang doon sa uh, mga signs. Or pwede mong gawin yung tatakpan yung hindi naman pwedeng isolve. Sa so, ganyan, 56 plus 3, kita mo na agad na ay, magpa-plus pala ako ng 56 sa kayong 3. So, 56 plus 3 now is 59. So, ganito ang mangyayari. Negative 19 is equal to 59 minus 3n. So, yung 56 sa kayong 3, ato na yon 59. Tapos, minus 3n, kopya lang. Then, after that, ilipat natin yung, negative, yung 59. Kapag nilipat siya sa kabila, it will become negative 59. So, ito ang mangyayari. Negative 19 minus 59 is equal to negative 3n. And, mastery dapat ng integers. Dapat alam nyo kung paano to. So, subtraction, keep change, change. This will give us negative 78 na uh, difference. So, negative 78 is equal to negative 3n. Then, after, since may katabi pa si n, dapat mawala yan. So, kung ano yung katabi ni n, siya yung divisor. So, may, ang common mistake din dito, minsan, 3 lang ang dinidivide. So, be careful. Since negative, dapat negative din ang ipang divide natin. So, divide both sides by negative 3. And, mawawala na si negative 3 kasi magiging 1 na lang yan. 1n or just n. Then, si negative 78 over negative 3, dinivide natin. And, dividing both signs, ang magiging result ay positive. So, this is 26 is equal to n. Or, n is equal to 26. Pwede dito ka na mag-final answer. Hindi naman required na merong ganito. Ayan. So, n is equal to 26. Anong ibig sabihin ng 26? Ibig sabihin niyan si negative 19 is the 26th term of the given arithmetic sequence. Ayan. So, that's how you do it. Now, it's your turn to have this humor drill. Ayan. Kung ready ka na, you may proceed to this. But if not, you may go back to the lesson and panoorin nyo muna. Then, you may answer this one. The first three terms of an arithmetic sequence are 72, 81, and 90. Which term is 180? Ayan. So, I'll pause for a while and I'll get back to you to give the answer. But if you still need time, feel free to pause the video. Alright, your timer starts now. Alright, time's up. So, let us now answer this drill. The first three terms of an arithmetic sequence are 72, 81, 90, which term is 180. So, ibig sabihin, pinapahanap pang ilang terms si 180. Ayan. So, same process. Write the formula. A sub n is equal to A sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. And given, of course, dun yan kukunin dito sa given problem natin. So, A sub 1, first term. And that is 72. Then, common difference, i-minus mo lang ito. 81 minus 72, 90 minus 81. And that will give us positive 9. Ayan. So, 81 minus 72 is 9. 90 minus 81 is 9 as well. So, common difference natin ay 9. Then, n, term position, pinapahanap. So, that's unknown. That's question mark pa din. Then, a sub n, n pa to kasi hindi pa natin alam kung anong value ni n. And this will be 180. Ayan. So, for the solution, write again the formula, then substitute yung mga values na meron tayo. Sa A sub n, magiging 180. Sa A sub 1, magiging 72. And C, D will become 9 multiplied to this expression. Ayan. So, by doing that, ito yung lalabas. Check nyo lang ng mabuti kung tama ang pagkakalagay ng mga, mga values. Ayan. Then, after... Yung 9, i-multiply sa loob ng parentheses. 9 times n is 9n. 9 times negative 1 is negative 9. Ito yung lalabas. 
Then, ang sunod na step, pagsamahin kung mayroon pang kayang pagsamahin. In this case, yung 72 tapos negative 9. So, pwede kang mag-rearrange, pwede yun. Or pwede yung takpan mo na lang yung hindi mo naman kailangan na i-plus or i-minus. Para kita mo agad yung operation na gagawin. So, 72 minus 9, that is 63. Ayan. So, eto na yung lumabas doon sa pag-subtract natin ng 72 and 9. Tapos yung 9n, kinopya lang natin. Then after that, kailangan kasi ang goal natin yung n matira, ilipat muna natin yung constant. So kapag nilipat si 63 sa kabila, magiging siyang negative 63. So 180 minus 63 is equal to 9n. Then solve this one. This will give us 117 is equal to 9n. Tapos, whatever the number beside n, gagamitin natin yung MPE or divide these both sides by 9. Kung anong katabi ni n, siya ang divisor natin. And, ayan, tanggal na si 9 kasi magiging 1 na lang yan, 1n. Then we'll have 13 is equal to n. Or, n is equal to 13. Anong ibig sabihin ng 13? Ibig sabihin po niyan, yung 180 is our 13th term. 13th term yan ng given arithmetic sequence. Ibig sabihin kapag tinuloy natin to, ang pang 13 ay 180. Ayan. So, thank you so much for listening. I hope natuto ka ngayong araw. And I want to see you in our next video. Bye-bye! Thank you, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed and learned something today. And if you did, please do share this to your friends who needs this lesson the most as well. And huwag mong kakalimutan mag-subscribe and i-click ang notification bell para maging updated ka sa mga latest videos natin dito sa Humor PH. And don't forget that you deserve more, you can learn more, and you can be more. Hashtag, you more PH. Bye-bye. See you in our next video.